1997, two teenagers, Mandy Elliott and Josh Garvin, met and fell in love. Six years later, they were married, but shortly after, there was a tragic accident. Josh was severely injured, and while he lay in a coma, Mandy took a momentous decision. Mandy didn't know if it were possible, she didn't know how it could be done, but she was determined to have a child with Josh. My journey started with Josh. I want my journey to begin again with Josh's child. Mandy's choice to extract Josh's sperm and inseminate herself later was unique and controversial because it was taken without Josh's consent. I think people like sperm. It's a very dynamic, happy cell, yes. Sperm are happy. And they, they make people smile. By retrieving the sperm, storing the sperm, I know from experience I lessen the grief, I lessen the pain, and, and that's what they're interested in. Some relief from this magnificent loss. After two weeks of high dosage hormonal injections to induce the body to overproduce eggs, Mandy must undergo an operation under general anaesthetic in order for the doctors to retrieve those eggs. So the other day, Mandy was talking to me, and I said, I looked at her and I said, You know what, Mandy? This is my baby, too. Right. Right. There, that's you can see it. that's a sperm right there. Jogging? Yeah, and it's got a little. You, it, it's not quite clear, but you can see there right. will be a little tail right behind there. This is one of the two really good ones that mm -hmm. Dr. Hobart wanted to you inject call them in beautiful me. Beautiful embryos. I have to feel connected. If I didn't, then I, I wouldn't have emotions, and that's I'm a pretty emotional kind of guy. So it's my baby. <laughs> you know, Mandy and her family are still together, you know? Yeah, Josh isn't there, but they're, they're gonna have a wonderful little child in their lives. And uh, I'll never have my son back. The challenge was that I wanted to have a baby without my husband here. Sometimes I felt like I was selfish bringing Kevin into this world without a father. I just wanted to finalize my journey with Josh, and Kevin was part of that, and he will feel so much love from so many people that he'll know that he's loved and he'll know that his father loves him. <laughs> 